Well, hello kids. In our last session, we learnt about the different parts of the abacus tool and understood how to differentiate between the rods. We know what the frame of the abacus is. The heaven beats and the earth beats. Let's now continue from where we left off. Yes, Ray, do you have something to ask? You want to know how to calculate on the tool. Well, have patience. Before we start calculating, let's see how to hold the abacus tool. Okay, are you ready? Great. Now, to hold the tool, we use the last two fingers and the thumb of the left hand. The index finger and the tall finger are kept free for calculation. The last two fingers hold the upper left edge of the tool, while the thumb supports the lower left edge. We use the thumb of our right hand to move the lower beads upwards to the counting bar. But to move the upper beads down to the counting bar or to their original position or to move the lower beads down, we use the index finger of our right hand. Now, let's move further and see how to use the tool. Firstly, understand that if no beads are touching the counting bar, then the value of the abacus is zero. On the other hand, if any of the beads are touching the counting bar, it means that the abacus has some value. Remember children, whenever we want to work on the abacus, the value should be zero. Making the abacus value zero is also called clearing the abacus. And how do we do it? To clear the value of abacus, we make a pinch like this using the index finger and the thumb of our right hand and move it along the counting bar. When we do this, all the beads move away from the counting bar. This means we have cleared the value of the abacus. Any questions till now? Yes, Ruby, what is it? Why do I have a pencil in my hand? Good question. I have a pencil because it saves time and helps me calculate faster. If we keep the pencil aside, do the calculation on the abacus, lift the pencil again and write the answer, it will take a longer time. Therefore, it is advisable to keep the pencil in your hand while doing the calculations. Okay, that's all for today. In our next session, we will learn about how to place the numbers on the abacus tool. Goodbye.